what is the value of your life? How do we measure your life? How do we know how much your life is worth? If you don't know the value of a thing, you will treat it shabbily and with a sense of uselessness. Animals eat, move around, and their values are more of either they are edible or not edible. But for us human, our values are much more than that. Our lives are more than what we eat and what we wear. What will I compare your life to? Imagine today what we have in our hands, a phone. If I take your phone right now and I steal it, or worse, if I take it and smash it on the floor and break to pieces, what will you feel? You have a sense of sadness that your phone is gone. Now, I can give you another phone after I smash it, but it's just more than a phone. See, the value of this phone is more than just the physical hardware. You've got a lot of stuff, your life, your memory, your pictures, your experiences, your contacts, your connections, your addresses, your password, your pain. The, the lot of stuff in there that just ordinary phone can do the job. So when you look at your life today, you have to see that it's just more than flesh and bone, more than eyes and ears and hands and legs. So that's what I want you to see first of all. Your life is valuable, not because of its physical quantity or quality. It's more than that. That is what I call a soul experience to your life. When we say soul, that means something that animates you more than just the physical. And this is how Jesus put it when he was talking to his disciples in Matthew 16. Jesus was telling his disciples the value of a life, of a soul, of a human. Matthew 16 verse 26. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his life or for his soul? It's a real life, it's a real existence. Because the human life is more than what we think. Jesus said, what will a man exchange for his life? Nothing in the financial world can be compared to the value of your life. Your life is priceless. You know, today, because we don't know the value of a human soul, we just look at our films, we shoot it. It falls out, it dies. We stab it. We can even hang it. Some even go to the extent of committing suicide. Because at the bottom of it is the lack of value for a human life. Don't get me wrong at all. I'm not saying that you're not having problems, you're not having struggles, you're not having challenges. But your life put together is more than the challenges and the struggles that you feel. We cannot reduce our life to only our struggles and challenges and even our good times. So I would like you to lift up the value of your life. Not because you are setting price on it, but because it's already priceless. So there's no case for suicide, for suicide rather. There's no case for terminating our own lives because our lives are more important. Let's hear more from Jesus. He says this in chapter 12, the book of Luke, in verse 6. Are not five sparrows sold for two copper coins? Let's imagine this, that birds flying in the air. Jesus said you can buy them for cheap. He said, and not one of them is forgotten before God. Wow. Look at the birds. We don't pay attention to them. We can buy them cheap in the market. The sparrows. But Jesus said, they are not forgotten before God. They are on God's mind. Then he said this, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Do not fear, therefore, you have more value than many sparrows. Now, if God will not forget the sparrow, and if God will count the numbers or the number of your heirs on your head, Jesus said, consequently, you have more value than many sparrows. So there is no need for us 
to take our lives. There is no need to commit suicide because we are facing challenges. Think about this. If Joseph of the famous story had the so challenge that when he was sold and committed suicide, we will not have the story today. Don't forget, I was talking about the phone at the beginning of this discussion about your value of your life. I said, if I take away this phone, it's just more than the phone and the physical thing you see. There are contacts, your connections, your memory, your experiences locked up in here. Your life is like that. So much involved. Connection with God, connection with people, connection with the future, connection with experience. All that together make your life valuable. In fact, Jesus said, you have more value than many sparrows. We're going to look at this more in the next episode. Thank you for listening.